Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is a prophecy report entitled, Two Great Days. A reader recently sent this Billy Graham quote to me as he spoke in a crusade. He said, The first thought I have when I wake up in the morning is I wonder if he is going to come today. I would like to see him come. What a day that's going to be. All of our aches and pains are going to be behind us. All of our tears are going to be behind us. All of our problems are going to be solved. What a day that's going to be. Actually, many Christians believe two great days are coming. When the day of the rapture arrives, every deceased Christian will be raised from the dead with incorruptible, immortal bodies like the Lord Jesus had when he was raised from the dead. Christians will see their saved loved ones in heaven. Christians will be taken to heaven for rewards. Christians will be presented to Jesus for the marriage of the Lamb. The Christian's prayer to be accounted worthy to escape the tribulation period will be answered. The salvation of multitudes by the preaching of the 144,000 and two witnesses will be near. The blinding of Israel will soon cease and all Israel will soon be saved. When the day of the second coming arrives, Satan will be bound, chained and cast into the bottomless pit for a thousand years. The Antichrist and false prophet will be cast into the lake of fire. The restoration of planet earth will begin. Jesus will reign and be worshipped all over this earth. There will be peace, justice and righteousness on earth. God's covenant with Israel will be fulfilled. Christians will reign with Jesus. Christians should look forward to these two magnificent events taking place. Here are some signs that we are getting close. Concerning world government, at the World Government Summit in Dubai, Klaus Schwab talked about AI, chatbots, and other advancements in technology. Schwab said, quote, Who masters those technologies in some way will be the master of the world. Ten years from now, we will be completely different. Note, an evil world government is coming that God will allow to exist for seven years, but the ultimate master of the world is Jesus. Concerning world government, Elon Musk, who said he is not a Christian, recently said the WEF's social, environmental, and governance agenda is satanic. The WEF is increasingly becoming an unelected world government that the people never asked for and don't want. In a video speech to the government summit in Dubai, Musk said, I know that this is called the World Government Summit, but I think we should be maybe a little bit concerned about actually becoming too much of a single world government. If I may say that, we want to avoid creating civilizational risk by having Frankly, this may sound a little odd, too much cooperation between governments. Concerning the coming world religion on February 17th, LifeSite News posted another great article by Catholic Archbishop Vagano. As I understand it, Vagano believes, and I agree, that Satan is behind the globalist hostility to biblical morals and the spread of the gospel of Christ. The Green Agenda woke dogmas, and cancel culture are part of a globalist cult religion that is being promoted by the New World Order. Globalists are using the World Health Organization, World Economic Forum, and other groups to draft laws that require everyone on Earth to accept their morality. Globalists are using these groups to draft laws to control what churches teach, what schools teach, and what the media says and to silence anyone and everyone who does not agree with them. Globalists are using these groups to promote immorality. Globalists are drafting laws and policies that no one wants and no one asked for. The globalist religion is exclusive and those that disagree with it must be dealt with. The list of people promoting this satanic global cult religion includes politicians, heads of companies and universities, actors, preachers, the Catholic hierarchy, and even the Pope. Concerning world government, I have recently reported that there were two globalist meetings in January. 
One very dangerous aspect of these proposals is that the international health regulations will be changed from non-binding to legally binding. And the WHO director will be empowered to declare a public health emergency of international concern, whether there is a real one or not, just by saying that the potential for one exists. If the IHRs become legally binding global laws in May, the only thing that is needed for one man to take over the medical and scientific sovereignty of every nation on earth is to declare that the potential risks for the bird flu, monkeypox, or whatever is to become a global pandemic. On February 10th, it was reported that the WHO's proposed international pandemic treaty calls for a One Health global surveillance system to monitor and control diseases. Two, that the 194 nations that belong to the WHO to be required to recognize the WHO's authority over global health issues. And three, the WHO to be allowed to impose its requirements upon all member nations. I'm reminding readers of the previous reports because on February 18th, the Epoch Times reported that the Biden administration is planning to sign a legally binding document on February 27th, as I understand it, that commits the U.S. to obey these global policies. On February 19th, the Gateway Pundit reported that amendments delegate the international body of unelected bureaucrats more authority to define what constitutes a pandemic. When a pandemic is in progress, how long a pandemic lasts, and how to prevent, detect, and respond to future public health emergencies. Concerning an increase in the frequency and intensity of natural disasters at the end of the age, on February 20th, a 6.3 earthquake struck Turkey. This earthquake struck exactly two weeks after the February 6th quakes that killed almost 50,000 people in Turkey and Syria combined. More buildings were damaged or destroyed, but injuries and death were light. Initial reports said six deaths and more than 300 injured, because more than one million people are now in temporary structures. Finally, are you rapture ready?